But yeah, we are going to be seeing Outback of Surrey versus, I believe that's Unchained uh, Ragnar. I used to call it Fenrir Ragnar. You mean Mordex? Was, yeah, yeah, Mordex. Well, like, he, uh, he, like, he's, he's very chained. But fact, those chains are broken. But arguably, he has more chains on him than any than other any character other in the game. Else. So he is that is that is the wrong name. It should be the most chained. It's the extra chained. Well, I'm not part of the naming team. Significantly more yeah. chained. Extra chains on him. 400% more chained. Fa fashionably well chained. Mordex going up against Wrenched on the Asuri for game one of the first set of Grand Fives. Potentially, sorry, first set of Grand Finals. Potentially the last set of Grand Finals. If Wrench can close this one out. Dude, I'm feeling some grand vibes right now. I tell you what, I don't think you misspoke. You were right. I'm, I got I'm feeling some grand right vibes right now. Twitch chat better be going nuts. Probably saying dumb stuff, but that's <laughs> that's why we love Twitch chat. I know they want some uh, some Zoll out here, but you're not going to get it. This is CEO 2019 here in sunny Daytona, Florida. There's a lot on the line. You're not bringing out the Zoll and singles here. Is this going to be chat. the one? Is this the tournament that Wrenched wins God, in offline? God, I want line? it so bad. Can he beat Sandstorm oh. here in Daytona? I want it so bad. Right now, it's Sandstorm in the lead. He's arguably well warmed up, and oh he's got gosh. the stock. He's in a massive lead over Wrench right that now. Is, that, that's the other side of, oh, I'm in Grand Finals. Let's let the other players play through their grueling long yeah. sets, which Sandstorm had to play. Like, it was a Game oh, yeah. 5, really long individual games, yeah, those too. Those were long games. Like, look, he, he took off Wrench first stock in probably 45 to 50 seconds compared to the minute 20, minute 30, minute 40. That was taking for him and Boomy to go back and forth. So yeah, like Sandstorm is warmed up. If he has the stamina, he's still warmed up. He's not out of gas yet. Ooh. Able to pick up that down light into the down air though. Wrenched does have Sandstorm in the kill percent and will pull the trigger, finish that stock off with that Qatar recovery. And he's gonna be sticking with those Qatars. Where's the weapon spawn? Right in the middle, wrench can cover, but Sandstorm slips underneath, like Indiana Jones, like sliding underneath the falling yeah. wall, grabs his hat on his way through. And Asuri does have the hat. Over to the scythe. Range advantage, off stage advantage. A wrench disengages. Wrenched and Sandstorm have come up against each other so many times. What was the set count? It's five to three, right? Like, that doesn't yes. seem like a lot. It's like, oh, it's a total of eight sets in tournament, whatever. This has been, like, over three years. But, well, what, for one, Sandstorm hasn't even been really playing this game where he Four, would be years. in sets against Wrenched yeah. for even a year, really, at this point. And a lot of those sets were grand yeah, finals. Yeah, a lot of them were grand finals. Throwback. Oh. Finishes the stock. Sandstorm maintains the lead he had over Wrenched off that first stock. Nice reverse snare into the ground. Oh, what? oh. He brought him back to the wall. Oh, man. Not done with oh, you. Man. Goes for the side sig. Burns the stock. Oh, but Wrenched has no jump. Sandstorm didn't even die. Like, he didn't yeah. even die in that situation yet. He knew he was done for. He, he was on just like. Like, he was going to die, but he still hadn't yet. Oh, no. It's a big pop from Sandstorm. He even threw Wrench back to the wall to reset his jump so he could go back in. Oh my gosh. That's big. That's a big start. Yeah, which I don't think bodes well for, uh, for, for Wrench at no. all. Because normally when Sandstorm wrangles the lead back from him, like, like in Dallas. Yeah. That when, was when Wrench beat him, it was looking really good for Wrench, and then it came back to Grand Finals time, and once Sandstorm wrangled that lead in his favor, like he just he held on to it. He like he stole that last yeah. one. Wrench was white, and Wrench was able to just completely get the stock. Starting off with that for a set, that is just huge momentum for Sandstorm. Yeah, that's big tournament pressure that is now even more upon what was already on Wrench's shoulders. Neutral Light Wrench goes for these dodge overs and Sandstorm punishing them. Has him off stage again. Oh no. Is he going to get another this, lead? The gravity canceled down domination. by Sandstorm. This is Sandstorm back to domination. He just complete control over Wrenched. Sandstorm's got to be feeling comfortable because he's able to play his game now. He doesn't have to necessarily adapt what he's doing to the person that he's playing against, like he did with Boomy, like he did with Wilson.
Falling Sayer from Wrench. Another Sayer. Another Sayer. Oh. Gets the stock. Able to negate almost totally that lead. I don't think Wrench is even orange yet. He might proc soon, though. But Sandstorm also might. Yeah, Wrench is still yellow at this point. Goes for the down tick. Nice little punish from Wrench. Getting some good mileage on his guitar play. Where's the weapon spawn? Over on the right side, Sandstorm in perfect position to pick it up. And again, he's going for these down tosses with a scythe. Scythe, relatively large hitbox for those down tosses in comparison to like gauntlets and guitars. And it'll open up people who try to go underneath them. Ooh. Man. He went low to yep. avoid that ground pound. Sandstorm. That's a, that's a catch 22 right there. Not a full stock lead, but no. very close to one at this point. You're seeing him go over D light ground pound. Wrench going to get some good damage out of that compared to any other option. Forward kick. Just putting some threat on the wrench. Nice he jump needs there. He needs the downward here. spike. Wrench moves through, or sensor moves through the ground pound. And he's going to take the stage control. Nice. Very Just patient. standing still. Gets the D-Light into the recovery. If Sandstorm can get, or if Wrench can get the stock off of Sandstorm right now, it'll be a very close final stocks here for game two. We haven't seen as many nice. signatures from Wrench this set as no. we saw previously. Like, he's not just throwing out raw D-Sigs. And he's not going to deny the weapon either. Instead, really wants to have that guitar control. Wrench now in orange. Sandstorm still basically fresh on this stock. Gravity cancel, neutral light. There's side the side sig. sig. This is trouble. That means wrench is in kill range. Yeah. More signatures starting to come out from Sandstorm. Lots of signatures oh. coming out from Sandstorm. Somehow he finds priority with that neutral light over the side air from wrenched. Wrenched hasn't found a hit. Weapon toss. Doesn't want it. Wants the gauntlets. If Ranch plays too close to that corner, the down signature will dunk down and finish the stock. You see the down sig. Ranch, despite being red for so long, still hasn't fallen prey to any of Sandstorm's signatures yet. On this final stock, there's the strong down light. The weapon toss going out. Sandstorm doesn't mind being unarmed. He has more stage Whoa. control. There's something so awkward Ooh. about the timings from Sandstorm, right? Like, just there, every other player in the world would have just picked up the weapon and gone back to their neutral game. But instead, Sandstorm literally stood right next to the weapon and was like, are you going to come at me? Because if you do, I'm going to pick up Siggy. He's just leaving it there. He's leaving yeah. it there. Oh. It completely throws off so many other players. Nair, not a kill option. I think one more Nair will do it. A strong D-Light will definitely do it. Neutral Sig will definitely do it. Sandstorm going up 2-0. And he's, he's like, let's go first right. Best of five. He's right back into it. You saw him tap into lock in. He's feeling comfortable right now. Still doesn't cover his nose with the mask, though. Well, but no, we, we know that's for good reason, though. It's, it's so it doesn't fog up the glasses he's not wearing. I honestly didn't notice if, notice if he was just wearing. I know a lot of he times. He doesn't wear he, glasses when oh, he Oh, yeah, plays. you're right. You're right. Okay. Like, we, we did figure that out yesterday, but I, I couldn't remember if he's wearing them right now or not. So, yeah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Because even Mordex has the mask he has, he covers over the face. his nose. Yeah, he covers the nose. He needs to get an on-brand mask that's very similar to that. Mm -hmm. Like, it has that graphic on it. Mm -hmm. Well, you work for the company that can make that. I don't, Just I don't think we sell any masks Yeah, at hello, all. <laughs> you have, there's your avenue into selling right, masks. Right. Gotta start making character masks. I know two people that would buy them. One is Starlight, one is uh, Sandstorm, and probably a lot of other people, just saying. Oh. Dear Matt. All right, game three, though. Sandstorm versus Wrenched. Is this the first time we've seen this map in a while? Yes. We saw some dome today. Have we seen any Twilight today? I don't think so. Yeah, wow. you, and I have, you and I have not seen any Twilight today. At least for our block. Interesting map picks. This one in particular, Black Guard Keep, you've got these uh, very wide kill boxes. Um, and then that left side platform can make it very si uh, safe to go over the left side. Neutralite. 
catching Sandstorm. Wrenched with a slight damage lead over Sandstorm. Could get the stock lead for the first time in this set. Yeah, if we uh, haven't seen this map so far, nice. we, we might see more of it if Wrenched is in control, or at least he'll, if he's the banning one, he'll leave it on the field. And if he's the choosing one, we might see him choosing this. Because he has a big opening here against Sandstorm. A complete 180. Sandstorm was the one who had this type of opening against him earlier for almost two games in a row. Sandstorm really backing up, has the soft platform wrenched. Looking like he was going to challenge. You saw him jumping towards it, but then he decides better. Just wants that main stage control. There. Goes for the dunk down, but avoided. And Wrench getting oh. a bigger lead. He has the dodge, tries to go yeah, that's a stock. for the down heavy. Still gets the stock. Didn't even need to hit that. Wrench with a two stock lead at this point. And that's going to fire up the crowd here. They were so incredibly silent while Sandstorm was playing. But once Wrench starts taking the lead, you can tell who the crowd here wants to win. Yeah, we, you can we tell who they're cheering for. Most of the time have a super one-sided crowd yeah. here in Brawlhalla. Oh, oh, is that a three what? stock? What he is the three stock? Did he actually just do that he to him? He committed to the deepest ground pound. And Sandstorm, like, he didn't even react towards it. He just was falling underneath that ground pound. That, I think, is one of the first times we've Look ever seen that. Sandstorm, or sorry, wrenched this far behind and then come out with something big. Yeah, I think that's Stuper in the bag. That's my man. He's going crazy. You got to love the people who pop in the crowd. Holy cow. I like I again I think wrenched coming back like that, that, was, that was is nice. all but unprecedented for him. I think that shows a huge shift in how strong his mental is here at CEO. We'll see if he can maintain that mental as we're going right on into game number four. If Sandstorm wins any of the next two games. Or well, I guess yeah, if he wins any of the next two games, then it's gonna be it's a, a reset. reset. Yeah, unfortunately for Wrench, he has to win two in a row. That's going to be tough. We are on Great Hall. Again, another map we haven't seen very much of. Getting some new map picks. Qatar play. Trying to get some openers, but he's not getting those follow-ups. You see him get, like, one tap on the Sandstorm. And he's going for kind of the safe follow-up of that Nair, but it's just not hitting. And now it seems like Sandstorm. Oh, oh man. He thought he avoided the ground pound. He thought he touched the wall, but instead just fell to his death there. That's going to be a nice little lead for Sandstorm. And now it seems like Sandstorm is kind of going back to the way that he was having to yep. play against Boomy, the, the way that he was having to play against uh, Wilson as well. And LDZ. And LDZ up and towards the end. Down signature connects and wrenched. Able All but even evened up. up. All yeah. but evened up. This is doable. Weapon denial throws the sword so far away. There. Reset into the sign light. That's the second time I've seen him do it. Yeah, Sandstorm's not usually one, or at least so far today, hasn't been one to go for a lot of sidelight, GC sidelight in one direction or the other, or sidelight recovery or anything like that. Like, we saw a couple of D-light sidelight recoveries today, but other than that, he doesn't have the traditional gauntlet no. play. He has a very unique gauntlet style. A lot of it's starting with that down, like oh, ground pound connection. Man. Sandstorm maintaining that slight lead over wrenched. Yeah, it's another relatively early stock that wrenched is going to have to equalize again very quickly. Down oh, Zig. Not quite enough. Weapon the weapon toss, toss gets the dodge. Through. There's flash the flash out. Grab pal. Oh. We're back to even. The dodge came out. He touched the wall. Your iframes are done after you touch the wall. And Wrench was still like basically inside mm -hmm. of him. Still had the hitbox overlapping Sandstorm's hurt box. He was able to equalize that. Holy cow. Are we gonna go to a game five or will Sandstorm get the reset? Wrench just playing the weapon control game. Sandstorm so high. It's one of the benefits of this map is the tri-platform makes it very easy to go very high in the sky and avoid your opponent. But Wrench finally finds the opening onto Sandstorm as Sandstorm picks up the scythe. 
drenched. He's now gotten about eight or nine hits that have been unanswered by Sandstorm. Ten. What? Weapon I toss? Uh, yeah, that was... Unarmed down light, pick up down air? Nice. Good punish. Wrench with the lead. You hear the crowd saying that was it. It's, they saw the opportunity. They saw Were they right saying that was it? I don't know if they said that was it or down sig. Uh, Honestly, it could be both. Could have been either. Ooh. Side Ooh. air. Off stage. Avoids the weapon toss. Wrenched. The dodge is gone. Hit. That's for the down mm. signature. Wrench throws away the Katars. He's currently unarmed. Sandstorm tries to deny, but Wrench picks up the sword. Wrench is still an orange. Down the recovery. Off platform. Wrench takes another game. Game five. Game number five. Wrenched versus Sandstorm. If Wrench wins this next one, he will be the CEO mid season champion for Brawlhalla. If he loses, we're going to a reset. Another best of five. Normally, when we've seen Wrenched in a similar position of, oh, I need to only win one more game, he's like up 2-0. Yeah. And then he loses one, <laughs> and, he loses and the confidence gets shaken, and he starts to fall apart. That has not been the case here. I think It's been quite the opposite. I think it was um, Wildcard put out an interview recently with specifically Wrenched, and they were asking, what were you doing pre to prepare for CEO? And he said, I have been basically just working on my mental. That is the biggest thing that I've been trying to focus on, and it's showing here. He's been able to stay composed as Sandstorm started this off going a quick 2-0, and Wrench has been able to even it up go to game five here in grand finals. Now the amount of times that Wrench has said, I win this land. <laughs> he lot. said that like basically every land since Austin last year, and he's been so close every single time. I've believed it every single time. I know there are some people out there that definitely don't believe it anymore. They, they think he's just blowing smoke. But the fact that he's able to come back two wolf. games in a row here against Sandstorm, I think shows how much he really has worked on his mental, the development of his mental game beyond the physical portion of the game, I think shows lengths about the type of player that Wrenched is. But Sandstorm wants to shut down everything that Wrenched has going for him. He wants this stock. Throws out the Ooh. side sig, the down Wrench sig. Wrench has the lead. He's going to stick with the Katars. Can he do this? Two stocks left before Wrench can be crowned the victor and go home with that belt. Wrenched in kill range. Seeing Sandstorm trying to reach up, grab out of the air with those nares. Wrench is finding more Punish. damage. There's one nair, dodges through the weapon toss. Wrench is going to get back to the main platform. Sandstorm didn't quite have the range to hit with the D-Light. Down air, Down air throwing, finisher. throwing wrenched off stage. Sideline, not going to be the finisher. Goes for the gravity cancel down light, but wrenched outside of it. Weapon toss. Just trying to maintain pressure. Wrench getting good damage onto Sandstorm's still second alive. stock. Yeah, look at all the damage he built up. Wrench looking real strong right now. Still holding oh. on to the stock. Dodges through. Sandstorm. His pace slowing to a crawl. Ooh, oh my gosh. Wrench just speeding Wrenched up. Wrench has him in kill range on his second stock. Down line. Strong D-Light from the middle of the stage shows how much damage that Wrench was able to just soak up like a sponge before being wrung out. Goes for a gravity cancel side light there. Wrench moves through, picks up the sword. Wrench just needs a down light recovery to get this stock. Sandstorm. Playing in the scythe game, resetting off that neutral light. Down light recovery. recovery. That'll kill off the top. Wrench with all but a One full stock, stock left. Lead. One more stock. Can One he more do it? stock. Will he be the bride? He's been the bridesmaid so many times. Can he do it? Y'all better start yelling one more stock out there. Y'all better be saying it in Twitch chat. One stock left for Wrenched to become the CEO champion. Just don't throw away the second stock. I see him on the edge, and I'm, I just see old divisions Nervous, of Wrenched yeah. choking in moments. But he's still holding on to it. Sideline recovery. Wrench gets disarmed. Then there. 
recovery again from Sandstorm. Not enough. Does that send one him off just screen, though. barely yeah. sent off screen, though. So it might take another recovery. Oh, stuffing that signature yeah, with the neutral light. Ground pound! Oh. I think Hermison called it yeah. out right before. You heard it. it. You heard it. He saw it. Oh, and they're tied. They're close. Here's the weapon spawn. Oh, side strings. Oh, still going. Sandstorm. He stole the lead. He's Ground pound. Stuff. Goes for the neutral signature. Thought he was gonna back up. Goes for the pickup side signature. Wrench backing up. Clash Clashing. out. Oh, the weapon spawn on stage. The crowd here. Sandstorm. Nervous for Wrench. Trying to read him. Grabbing that with the neutral signature. The weapon toss trying to break up the neutral. Just change up Wrench's pace. Wrench is just a little bit behind Sandstorm weapon at this toss. moment. Oh, side lights there. Wrench the kill range. The win here for Sandstorm resets the bracket. The win here for Wrench gives him the belt. Oh, neutral sig. He's avoided. Wrench cannot get hit by a signature. Side light. No ground pounds. Wrench fakes it. He's staying low, so hopefully that would give him enough time to react again. Side away. sig! Reset! From the middle of the stage, big sigh of relief. Sandstorm is going to take that reset and truly try to reset everything. Games back to 0-0. Zero, zero. His brain back to where it was before. But no signs of relief here because all you're doing is going to another best of five. You go a little bit away from the fires, but you got another best of five. And you know what? I don't, I don't blame Sandstorm. He needs to uh, go... Uh, Relax a little bit. He's to yeah. leave some pressure. I mean, he's been up here for a long time. Yeah. We watched his set against Wilson. We watched his set against LDZ. We watched his set against Boomy. And he, I don't think he had really too much of a break in between. No, and those sets, they, they were, were long. pretty long. Those games, they were long sets. They went long. Like, even when it was a 3 0 against LDZ, like, it wasn't as quick as your traditional no. 3 0. No. It was, they were long individual games. Wrenched. Getting some time to think about this matchup, though. Getting some time to kind of refresh himself. Be like, all right, what really worked? I almost had that one. I was really close. I just need to get a little bit further. Half surprised no one's run up there to be like, hey, hey, hey. now's my opportunity to coach you. I mean, you have to you have to declare your coach ahead of time. Maybe Wrench doesn't want one. What happens if you don't declare your coach? I'm curious. Like, if you're They don't like, get to go on stage. No one can go on stage? I don't think so. Okay. But right in front of us, we have what one of the prizes is. Of course, there, of there's, a, there's, a, there's a cash prize, but the important part. Y'all are lucky it's is, still on this table is right big now. Gold. Like, it, it hasn't s snuck into one of our bags. Yeah. I'm just um, saying. Like, I don't know who this is for, um, but I, can, I, can, I, can I have, please? It even is, it says Brahma on the oh, side and everything. Like, oh yeah, okay. This this is like, one this of is, the, this, this is, is ours. One of, one of our prize. Belts. And I'm just saying, like, and they just put it. Left stick down's coming over here to make sure, like, he's gonna about to like zip tie it to the table. I was some, wondering like, if, if, it said, uh, if it said BH on the side. Yeah. So that's usually that's what they do in wrestling. Is they, yeah. have, they have the emblems here. Like this stays the same, but they have the emblems here for the individual superstar that wins. But man, I I tell you, this this big gold's gonna look mighty big on all of our very young yeah. Brawlhalla players. <laughs> Now my question is, hard read, do you think they're going to put it straight around the belt like a belt or over the shoulder? Put it on, and then when you walk with it, over the shoulder. I think they're just going to raw put it on the shoulder. They might, but you should put it on. All right, Sandstorm, back from his break. Got a little bit of a breather. Hopefully didn't cool off too much on that one. So we're about to get into our second best of five here yeah. in the grand finals. That first best of five was down to the wire, deep red, one hit away. Is that going to happen again? It might. I mean, let's see. Wrench has played one set, two set, three set. This is his fourth red set, set today. Red set, blue set. Well, Gordon this isn't twos yet, set. so it's not red. It's not no, quite red no, set. No, not, not red set, blue set. Sandstorm's played four sets, including this one he's about to play. Dude, that's true, though. Also, 2v2's happening, like, right after this, and Sandstorm is still inside of that yep. as well. We're kicking it off. Game one, second best of five. After the reset, in the grand finals, Wrench charging forward. No character swaps whatsoever here. Wrench, of course, on the Asuri that he's been playing for Lord knows how long. Sandstorm back to the classic Mordex pick. 
the pick that he won the world championship at BCX with. And he's doing side oh stuff. My oh God. my goodness. Still going. Left oh and right and left and right. He's not dead yet. Rich oh my is God. done for. Nails in the coffin. Game one, stock one, going the way of Sandstorm. Game one, not his way yet. Oh, oh but he's my not gosh. He stage. immediately sends Wrench off stage so quickly, controlling the neutral as well, sending Wrench high up into the sky. Down like goes for the ground pound. Going for a little bit of style here. Wrench's work on his mental is truly being put to the test yeah. here. Ooh, nice side air. Punishes the ground pound. It's been a little while since we've seen a true wrenched punish on a ground pound yeah. attempt from an opponent. Permison calls it and Sandstorm. Nails it. He hears the call and goes for it. I think, all right, here's a theory. Hermison is Sandstorm's Pokemon trainer. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and he's just like, Sandstorm, ground pound. He goes, Sandstorm, sand. use ground pound. He goes, sand. Right as he does it. Sandstorm's confused. Sandstorm hurts himself in confusion. I mean, he ain't looking confused right now. <laughs> Level 100 Sandstorm versus Wrenched. Wrenched in the red. Ground pound from Sandstorm. Gives him a full stock lead. Now, anytime Sandstorm has had a full stock lead on Wrenched, it's gone Sandstorm's way. Well, Sandstorm very rarely throws a lead this big. <laughs> you don't have the right badge yeah, to control you don't have the badges anymore, right bro. You gotta get top five before you can control Sandstorm, I guess. He's out of points for that move. Yeah. Yeah, he, he has no more PP left or whatever. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know what those stand I didn't, for. I didn't like want to be the guy points? who said PP right yeah, now, well. but yeah, this is power points. The world needed to hear it. Oh my gosh. Into the recovery. Wrench getting some good damage down. Signature. Okay. okay. He's back in this. Still fighting. Yeah, not a bad spot. Good not mental spot. from Wrenched. <laughs> Sandstorm is able to swoop into the sky, grab those gauntlets out of thin air. And again, you're seeing him go for this nair and then stay on the ground, try to reset for that turnaround side light. It's a very interesting option that you do not see from standard gauntlet play. Goes for the side sig read, stays low. Could have potentially punished with a recovery or a nair. Staying low. Low on that wall because he's worried about the ground pound. Because Sandstorm hasn't been holding it. It's been just right over the corner when Sandstorm, when Wrenched is playing high on that wall. Wrenched still in orange. Sandstorm in yellow, close to orange at this point. And you got to remember, Wrenched started this stock a full stock behind. Yep. Sandstorm was in white, Wrench was in white on the last of his stocks, and he is making this look even. Oh, nice. spot dodge. He waited at the spot dodge. Jumps yes, over. there's the punish. Avoids the weapon toss. Very patient. Weapon toss, side light goes for the recovery. Those vertical weapon tosses from Sandstorm have been working really well for him to just break up the defense that his opponent is mounting on the ground when he wants to land. That's for the recovery. <laughs> Trying to cover that weapon. There's the sword pickup. Are we going to see... Ooh. I'm feeling like a gravity cancel D-Sig coming out from Wrench. Gravity oh. cancel down light coming out from Sandstorm, though. Takes game one. But Wrench came back. Yes, he that did. He, again, he was a full stock behind Sandstorm, and he made it final hits in game one. This is close. For all the times that Sandstorm has remained consistently first place, mm -hmm. it seems like almost just as consistent Wrenched has made second place, which is like, that's still extremely admirable to be like the second best on land every time. <laughs> like that's so amazing. See, he's, he's been nipping at the heels of, of Sandstorm. He has been just right on the tail of him, trying to get here, trying to beat him. But like you said, he's been consistently second. Yep. 
one of the things that was standing in the way was his mental. And we've already seen like huge mental strides since Dallas. That's, that's a month ago. Imagine fixing your mental game in a, month? in a month. That ain't easy. Like your mental game is the harder thing to fix. It is one of the hardest things to just straight up train, practice, and work on. Side take punished from Sandstorm. Again, gravity cancel down lights. Weapon oh. toss connection. Is he going to get the dodge Can't off touch. the cooldown? No, he's not. Sandstorm with the lead here. You're seeing Rich run away from him. He doesn't want to engage unarmed. Just Rich. patient there. Yeah, he's inching ever closer. Big slaps and Sandstorm off stage. Tries to go for the fast fall nair, but Sandstorm's able to dodge through it, get back to the main platform. You're not seeing you're not seeing a lot of off stage extended engagements that Sandstorm is partaking in this time. Yeah, right now it's Wrench who's really trying to force him into the off stage, but then he tries to have that stage control. Neutralite. Wrench needs to finish the stock Ooh. off. Almost caught him with the active frames. Just enough iframes to avoid that down signature. Goes straight through it. Neutral air. Neutral air. Recovery. Wrench just really unable to land anywhere around Sandstorm to find some initiations, to find some damage to where he can find a kill move. He is able to pick it up. Oh! oh. Caught him jumping. He waited for that one. You saw him just standing there. Waiting for the iframes, the invulnerability on respawn. We're just about halfway through the second stock. Sandstorm, all but fresh. He's still white, not even yellow, even after that string that came out from Wrenched. See, or you heard no call from Hermerson there. No. So there was, Grand there was no play. Grand Pound. Weapon toss thrown down. Hits the sign light, forward kick on it. Wrenched. Back to the wall. Ground pound. And wrenched is done for. Sandstorm, not a full stock lead, but almost. About midway through this second stock. Seeing the sword play coming in from wrenched. Tried to pick up that nair. Sandstorm just a little bit too far to the left. So he's able to find priority. Big string coming out. There's the dare sending him back All on right. stage into the side light. Tried to turn around, get the re with the neutral light, then throw out the side stick the other direction. Another side stick coming out. Even after the weapon toss, he was still able to pick up a side. Ooh, There's the down, the down signature. All of the active frames. That stands Recovery. for spot dodge. Top of the map. Wrench gets the stock. That's the... There's been so many times where Sandstorm has had two stocks to wrench one, and then Wrench has just made that comeback. He has just been able to hold on. Just the mental fortitude from Wrench. Unfortunately, that time when he punched the signature, he didn't have the time to punish with his signature, and his opponent was not as heavily damaged as it was the last Ooh. time. That side signature almost killing Wrench. You side see him air. immediately recovery out of hit stun. Gravity oh, and that's going to be that game going the way of Sandstorm. 2-0. He's been here before. He, he was just here. One set ago, 2-0 over Wrench, and then Wrench was able to take it to game five. Wrench, does he have it in him? to take this to another game five. We're again going back to Mammoth Fortress. They're both going immediately into the sky, trying to grab that weapon immediately as it spawns. That initial weapon control is so critical for Sandstorm. Yep. Like, he gets so oh much momentum my. off. Oh, and look he's at doing this. the same again, thing. Again. He's doing the same thing. Again, one bad dodge against Sandstorm, and he just gets so many hits. Side air. Oh. Sandstorm with a massive lead over Wrenched. Sandstorm putting more nails in Wrenched's coffin. Which one's going to be the final? Ooh, he dodged He's through that ground pound. Wrench is trying to go big. Yeah. He knows he needs something big here. Oh, oh again, is he going to do again. it again? <laughs> Tried to change it up, went for a down signature. Full stock advantage to Sandstorm. Down light, gravity cancel neutral heavy, not going to be a finisher. So someone tweeted earlier that Sandstorm has the strongest mental in the game right now. And the fact 
that they were able to go to game five previously shows that Wrench oh, 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 oh. mental is strong. The fact that Sandstorm was able to come out after that and do what he's doing right now, now. shows that his, his mental is even stronger. Sandstorm with some of the most insane mental we have ever seen in the Brahala community. Three stocks to the one of Wrenched. All he needs is one more stock to be crowned the CEO champion. And you see, Sandstorm's feeling it. He went for the D-Light yeah. ground pound, tried to go for another gravity cancel, D-Light ground pound. There's the dare, fun. tried to go for another dare. Wrench, Wrench went in. Turning around Touched. with a stare of his own. Big moves for not hitting for Wrench that he uh -oh. needs. Is he going to be That's three stocked touch. here? Wrench goes for the dare. Off stage. That's, That's the flag. He knows it. Sandstorm is the CEO champion. The streak is still unbroken. The big gold being presented to Wild Cards Sandstorm. Wrenched is just building his closet full of bridesmaids' dresses. He's got so many. But he's still, like, he's made strides in a month, which is so admirable. Um, that, that first set was insane. Sandstorm, what a contender, though. So many of those sets were so incredibly close. It was looking like Boomy was going to knock him out. It yep. was looking like it was going to be a Boomy Wrench Grand Finals, and Sandstorm just, just absolutely insane. So one of my biggest questions is how he's going to deal with that when he goes to the airport. Yeah, I don't know. Is he going to pack it check in, in his bag? Um, is he going to have to pull it out and show it to TSA? Yeah. Is he, I mean, what he should do is just roll with just it as part of his carry-on. Yeah. Look at look look at look at some of these replays. Like when you here. go to the TSA, you got to take off your belt, and he'll just yeah. take it off, put it underneath. Not if the... you're if you're TSA free. You yeah, not if you're TSA free. Your yeah. Imagine that. That would be so funny. <laughs> yeah, but if you go through regular TSA, you could. Oh, yeah. but if yeah, if you, if you have TSA pre, you don't have to take yeah. off your belt. That'd be hilarious. Actually. Yeah.